Tonight at 5, expansion efforts at the Yakima YWCA finally getting closer to reality after years of preparation. Plus, preparing for traffic changes in Pasco tonight. We're hearing what drivers can expect to see later this year. And taking a live look outside after some unseasonable cold and unseasonable heat, we're finally getting some normal weather on the way. Meteorologist Hayden Nix is tracking temperatures coming up. This is Apple Valley News Now at 5 on your side. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Alyssa Warner. And I'm Austin Reed. First up at 5 tonight, it has been weeks now since the Lineage Fire in Finley broke out. But last night, more flames were seen at the site. These are pictures from the Benton County Fire District 1's Facebook page. The on-site security last night noticed that there were some larger flames at about 9.30 p.m. The fire remained within the footprint of the building and no other structures were threatened. Fire officials say the once frozen veggies had thawed and are now drying out. That's creating new dry fuel. Crews put water on the burning areas for about three hours. All water even had to be trucked in. Um, seems how my actual place is kind of right behind that. The, the, the smoke is pretty devastating. Not, not every day, but when the wind picks up, it gets pretty thick. And so, um, you know, it's, it makes it pretty tough to get outside and get some things done before they eat, for sure. Now, security will remain on the scene again tonight and into the overnight hours. They will alert crews if there is another flare up. Now, let's talk about your forecast because we're seeing that warm temperatures. We saw breezy weather yesterday. Meteorologist Hayden Nix is here. What are we looking at tonight? Well, we've had a really nice Tuesday in store across the area with those temperatures back in the upper 70s to lower 80s area wide. 81 in the Tri-Cities, the 78 in Hermiston, 75 in Walla Walla. And another good thing that happened is the winds let up quite a bit today. Nowhere near where they were yesterday. Still seeing some sustained winds of around 22 in Ellensburg, but just 12 in Hanford, 6 in Tri-Cities in the single digits there. For tonight, readings are going to be quite comfortable. Upper 70s at 6 o'clock, low 70s by 8 o'clock. And that's going to be a common thing that we see for the Tri-Cities as well with those lower 80s holding on for just a little while longer. Herbiston as well, 81 by 6 o'clock, mid 70s by 8 p.m. Then take a look at Walla Walla, mid 70s through 7 o'clock. Then we'll go to 70 by 8 p.m. Now eventually temperatures are going to warm back up to near 90 degrees before we wrap up this work week. But then changes are on the way this weekend. We're going to take a look at all of this coming up in just a little bit. Thanks, Hayden. The YWCA Yakima held its 30th annual Leadership Luncheon, which is their biggest fundraiser of the year, with former Seahawks player as the featured speaker. The YWCA now receiving sometimes over a thousand calls per month. They're offering services like counseling, support groups, advocacy, and more. Their emergency shelter housed at least 400 families a year who have nowhere else to go. But they say the community's need has outgrown the current shelter, with over a thousand families turned away last year because of lack of space. It is a dangerous time when people leave, probably one of the most dangerous. So to be able to have a place that you could go that has the safety and security um, staff 24 hours a day uh, to help you manage what you're going through is, is a huge help to people. Now coming up at six, we'll talk about some of the new steps they're taking towards addressing the need for emergency shelter in Yakima. Well, county elections offices all across the state right now are gearing up for the August primary. And part of that process includes drawing names to determine which candidates will appear first on the ballot. So each county sets the ballot for county level offices, not state level. In Franklin County, election officials used three numbered balls that were pulled at random from a jar to determine which candidate's name would come first on the ballot. It's all part of the effort to make sure that election results aren't biased, not even by accident. It's a random, is a random placement. Like no one knows uh, what candidate's mm -hmm. going to be first. And again, the speculation that the first name on the ballot will have the highest votes. Um, that way it's not any particular candidate. It's just selected at random. So the primary election is coming up in August. Now, unlike the presidential primary that was back in March, which basically just advised the Republican and Democratic parties of the state, this one will actually determine which candidates advance to the general election in November. And in Morrill County, Oregon, an Irrigon man has collected more than 700 signatures. 
That's enough to initiate a countywide recall vote for the three Morrow County commissioners. Stuart Dick needs only 613 valid signatures for each candidate. Now the county clerk will need to validate each signature. If that all goes through, a recall of the county commissioners could come up to 40 days from there. All right, turning to consumer news now, we are continuing to track new inflation numbers. Wholesale data released today showing that the producer price index is up 2.2% compared to a year ago. We are expecting the latest consumer price index reflecting what you pay in the store by tomorrow. The Federal Reserve wants inflation sitting at 2%, and they have raised interest rates to try and get people to think twice about spending money. But it doesn't seem to be working. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York reports that delinquencies are up. That means people are spending more on credit than they can afford to pay off. They say that the delinquency rate has risen across all kinds of debt, from credit cards to car loans and all age groups. The numbers released today show more people have credit card bills 90 days late or more than we have seen since the year 2012. And buying vehicles and technology from China is about to get a lot more expensive. Yeah, today the Biden administration announced tariffs, which are basically import taxes, on certain Chinese products that will quadruple. It'll make them more than twice as expensive as they are right now. ABC's Christiane Cordero explains. President Biden trying to boost American jobs and perhaps his poll numbers. The president hitting $18 billion worth of imports from China with new tariffs. Under the plan, tariffs on Chinese electric cars coming into the U.S. will quadruple from 25 to 100 percent. Also targeted batteries, medical equipment, steel, aluminum, semiconductors and solar cells. The administration says the tariffs will level the playing field, protecting what it describes as a comeback in American manufacturing from cheaper Chinese goods. We're not going to let China flood our market, making it impossible for American auto, auto, auto manufacturers to compete fairly. U.S. officials claim the new tariffs won't impact inflation in the U.S., saying these are a very targeted set on specific sectors. Some industry observers are skeptical. One critic writes, instead of just de facto banning the competition from giving Americans access to affordable hot new EVs, the U.S. should instead try making affordable hot new EVs itself. On the campaign trail, both Biden and Trump are fighting to prove who is tougher on China. Trump today taking credit for Biden's move. Where have you been for three and a half years? They should have done it a long time ago. New polling shows the former president ahead in several battleground states where manufacturing is a top issue, including in Michigan, home to the big three automakers. Christiane Cordero, ABC News, Washington. In more local news tonight, a new roundabout is coming to the city of Pasco. This will be built on Road 68 and Court Street. City officials say Road 68 serves as a very vital north-south route, facilitating significant traffic flow within the city and Franklin County. Similarly, Court Street acts as an east-west corridor linking residential sectors with the city's major commercial districts. According to the 2020 Local Road Safety Plan, the intersection is identified as a critical area for safety improvements due to its high collision frequency and nature. This is a rendering of what the roundabout will look like once it's constructed. And you can see that it is slightly bigger than just the roundabout. We're extending those um, lanes just to be able to do it proper merging. There was a traffic study at the very beginning of the project. The project started in 2019 um, and it wasn't fully funded at that time, but, but with the first funds that we received, we began a study looking at current volumes and future volumes. Um. Now plans include transforming this junction into a roundabout and installing bike lanes. Additionally, the project will incorporate infrastructure upgrades such as sewer line extensions to the east and north, stormwater management improvements, and the installation of curb and gutter systems, curb ramps, a water main extension, and additional street lighting. No word just yet on when the construction is set to begin. We'll keep you posted.
Well, Washington students are just getting towards the end of the school year, but school districts are already looking ahead to the fall. Today, ESD 123 in Pasco held a preschool roundup event for families interested in enrolling a child in the Early Child Education and Assistance Program. Now, this provides preschool and hearing and vision services for children who are between three and five years old. The program administrator says enrolling can be a lengthy process. It can be a lot. That's why they hosted today's event to try to help families through that process. This will help families get the assistance that, that they need, but also it will help them know um, right away if their application is accepted to go on the wait list or not. So they'll be able to sign their application right on the spot and be finished with that process. Now, if you weren't able to attend today's event, but you would still like to enroll your child, they'll be having another event just like it coming up on Thursday, May 16th from 3.30 to 7.30 p.m. That's at the ESD 123 building in Pasco. We are inching towards summer and it feels like it. So let's take a live look outside. We are seeing some cloud cover though this evening. Meteorologist Hayden Nix and for Stacy, he'll have a look at when we could see a chance of rain. Plus we're highlighting local high school athletes looking ahead to the Lamb Weston RSD Field Day next on Apple Valley News Now. A semi-truck accident can shatter your life. At Tamaki Law, we put your life back together. If you've been hit by a semi-truck, call Tamaki Law. We understand the complex rules and regulations of the trucking industry. Dealing with big rig insurance companies requires a knowledgeable legal team, one who fights for compensation and justice that you deserve. If you've been seriously injured, call Tamaki Law and get your life back. If you are having emotional, psychological, or severe anxiety issues, get medical help because your mental health is vitally important. More at applevalleynewsnow.com. Mental health services at Prosser Memorial Health's primary care clinics. Visit prosserhealth.org. Tonight, Michael Cohen back on the stand face-to-face -face with Donald Trump, plus Canadian wildfires triggering air quality alerts across several states. More Americans turn to the most watched newscast on television. World News Tonight with David Muir. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at AW, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all time great deal is available Tuesdays only at AW. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99 Wednesdays only at KFC. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. If you're injured on the job, you need an experienced workers' comp attorney. Workers' compensation is complex. It has its own laws, doctors, courts, and judges. For years as an assistant attorney general, I represented labor and industries. Now, I fight for injured workers. If you were hurt at work, let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411, Bothwell and Hamill. Visit Cougar Bay Preserve on Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 tonight. And we appreciate you staying with us. Wednesday morning, there's a chance to cheer on some local student athletes. Richland School District staff are trying to fill the stands at Fran Rich Stadium for their Lamb Weston RSD Field Day. It is tomorrow from 9 to 2. It's open to the whole community. Field Day is a track and field event for students with disabilities. Nearly 500 students are going to be participating from all of the RSD schools. It's by far the most special day of the year. Um, the students love it, they talk about it. Uh, there's a countdown in classrooms getting ready for it. And so it's a very, um, it's a very nice way to get together at toward, usually towards the end of the year and kind of have a pinnacle event that we can really just celebrate these student athletes. Lamb Weston will come out to Richland High School to support the events as one of the sponsors 
as the students were preparing for what's called the biggest event of the year for students with disabilities. Central Washington University tonight showcasing a senior student artist this week who's using a creative medium to recognize her family's resilience. Very cool. Mackenzie Guzman's exhibition, Lest We Suffer, showcases art made from everyday objects with a family connection, like her grandmother's lace doily. The art explores place and ancestry through Guzman's memories as they've been distorted by time. They actually connect to like my grandmother, like my grandmother made those. The one that's cyanotyped, I actually made that by hand myself. Doing those same motions that she would have done with her hands, it just helped me feel really connected to her. Now, Guzman's artwork is on display in Gallery 231 in Randall Hall on Dean Nicholson Boulevard. The gallery is open from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. through Friday. From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Hayden Nix. Well, it was a beautiful day out there across the area, and we do anticipate a really nice evening ahead. We've got a live look at Dust Devils here. They've actually been practicing here for the last hour or so. Temperatures holding at 81 degrees, and they're practicing for good reason. They've got a game tonight against the Hillsboro Hops there. First pitch, 81 degrees, plenty of sunshine. There might be a few high clouds trying to mix in. Southwest wind at 5 to 10. Then by uh, 730, upper 70s, then mid 70s by 8:30, so not too bad of a forecast if you're looking for something to do head out to the stadium there and cheer them on now outside of that temperatures here across the rest of the region very comfortable if you like the warmer than normal temperatures we've got 81 in the tri-cities as just mentioned 78 in hanford we've got 76 in ellensburg back off towards the east 72 in walla walla 69 in dayton now as we move along into the overnight hours those temperatures are anticipated to cool but We've got a ridge of high pressure that is going to continue to warm us up, but it's also lessening the wind speeds here at this time compared to yesterday. Sustained winds are almost non-existent to even mention, but I do want to bring it up that they've been very light today and even up towards Ellensburg, where a typical trouble spot where those elevated winds has been on the more tame side in the breezy category. There's that big ridge of high pressure. It will continue to propagate eastward, moving on shore, and that's going to allow us to see these temperatures climbing for wind Wednesday as well as Thursday, but that's the day that things peak out. We'll likely see some with the tightening of the pressure gradient there, elevated wind speeds for Thursday. Something else to also be thoughtful of as we head towards the end of the work week. Now beyond Thursday, notice here that our upper level wind pattern is moving more due west to east. With this setup, that's the sign of our ridge is starting to sink southward. We're going to set ourselves up for more of what we call a zonal weather pattern in the weather world. This will give us a better chance for some increased moisture, but also there is some data suggesting that we could have maybe a little bit of extra moisture to work with next week. It's not all that promising yet. There's definitely some back and forth with confidence in how this plays out with different pieces of weather guidance, but we'll definitely keep you up to date with that if anything becomes more promising than what's being seen right now. Back to the top of the forecast for tonight. Those temperatures will be cooling to the upper 40s to lower 50s with a mostly clear sky. There may be an occasional high cloud skirting from time to time is what we're seeing now. Tomorrow, another big day for warming up. Lower to mid 80s. We'll even have a pocket of upper 80s in there from Hanford, Tri-Cities down to Hermiston. Top and going up to 86 degrees. Now your seven day forecast starting with the Tri-Cities. We're looking at 90 degrees for a high temperature on Thursday with breezy conditions. Upper 80s for Yakima. But notice the trend though as the ridge begins to break down. We'll cool back down to near seasonal values over the weekend with the mid 70s in there. Notice on Yakima Tuesday planner there. There is a 20% chance with increased cloud cover for maybe a few drops to come out of those clouds. Again, it's very low end right now. We'll definitely keep an eye on it. Walla Walla will go to 86 for Thursday, mid 70s over the weekend with cloud cover increasing area wide as we begin to see that ridge of high pressure breaking down. Alyssa and Austin. Thanks, Hayden. Well, as you mentioned, a good day for baseball, and you can see the Northwest League Player of the Week right here in Tri-Cities. Yeah, we are going to hear from him next on Apple Valley News Now, live at 5. ET and Extra, tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Extra, extra.
Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853-2222. Why do you Goodwill? Well, there are countless reasons. I come for the thrill of a deal, and I never miss out on the 50% off day. I like to hunt the bins for hidden gems. Goodwill lets you define your style with unique gifts and treasures around every corner. And giving back to your community just feels wonderful. With hundreds of reasons to shop at Goodwill, you can feel great about knowing 95.7 cents of every dollar you spend helps your community. Goodwill. Donate. Shop. Impact locally. Walla Walla Regional Airport, the gateway to your next vacation. As spring and summer travels approach, plan your flights through Walla Walla Airport. We offer free parking, and we have two Alaska flights to Seattle daily, making your travel easy and convenient. Take the time off, explore the world, and create memories that will last a lifetime. Walla Walla Airport, your connection to your next vacation. Book today. AlaskaAir.com, your destination awaits. Have you heard about Refractive Lens Exchange? K2 Vision RLE means no glasses, no contacts, and no readers permanently. And you'll never develop a cataract. No glasses or readers. K2 Vision RLE. Why is my internet slow? There's only 16 devices connected. I'm so over this. My cable internet bill just increased again. My upload speed is so bad, I can't even run a stream without buffering. Defeat cable lag. Switch to Zipply Fiber, America's fastest home internet. 25 times faster uploads. $65 less a month in cable. Zipply Fiber. Call 1-888-GO-ZIPLY or visit ZipplyFiber.com slash go Zipply. Vegas action is closer than you think. The fun is waiting for you at Knob Hill Casino. Come in and pull up a chair at your choice of blackjack, pie gal, heads up hold'em, or high card flush, and play with the friendliest dealers in town. Join our players club to take your game to the next level and earn rewards for food, bowling, prizes, and cash. There's always a spot for you at Knob Hill Casino where the locals play. Danny was rear-ended by a semi-truck. Serious injuries. Mariano's reputation and experience gave him an advantage over the insurance company. Daniel got paid a lot. He lives up to his reputation, which is somebody who gets results. Call 853 Hey, here's a talker. The city of San Francisco is expected to ban firefighting gear made with PFAS. We've been talking about that a lot lately. Those are the forever chemicals often used to make waterproof clothing and used in a lot of protective firefighting gear. But they have also been linked to a long list of potential health concerns, including everything from decreased fertility to cancer. If the city approves the ban, the San Francisco Fire Department will have to get new protective gear by 2026. A new report from the CDC tonight says that the number of people who accidentally drowned is actually going up dramatically, especially among very young children. Yeah, so the CDC says between 2020 and 2022, more than 4,500 people drowned each year. They're arguing for more accessible swimming lessons, saying more than half of all Americans have never actually been to a lesson, and about one in six people don't know how to swim at all. The CDC is funding programs at the Red Cross and the YMCA to help provide lower cost swimming lessons. They're also argue arguing for communities to build or revitalize public pools so that people can get more comfortable with being in the water. At an update tonight, the, FA the WIAA has opted not to add girls flag football as a sanctioned high school sport. That's despite a statewide push for approval. The vote was 27-26 against, but it would have needed a 60% majority in order to pass. All right, we're going to come on back, have one final look at your forecast. That's right after this. And still ahead tonight, we'll take you to a Washington County offering employees a four-day work week. Could this be the next big hiring trend? We're talking about that tonight at 6. Visit Cougar Bay Preserve on Fly the Northwest. Apple Valley News Now at 6 tonight. Studies show people like to get more for less. So I'm giving you not just one Jumbo Jack Burger, but two for only five bucks. Statistically speaking, that's a lot more for a lot less. At Jack, every bite's a big deal. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Car wreck, 
I'm here to help you. His caring and supportive nature created a bond, and he shares that with every client he has. Stacy always says really good things about me. I got T-boned at an intersection. Ended up having a back injury. Mariano got me about 50 times more than I thought I was gonna get. I did my best and she got way more than she expected. Can't thank Mariano enough. I mean, he just, he is the guy. Call 853 When it comes to remodeling your bath, there's fact and there's fiction. Fiction, it's too expensive to remodel your bath. Fact, with Bathfitter's hundreds of design options, you'll get the bath you want to fit your budget. Fiction, bath remodels take forever and tear the house apart. Fact, Bathfitter installation takes just one day to fit your schedule. Get the bath that fits you. Bathfitter, it just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Following two epic battles in January, boxing great and current trainer Rory Jones Jr. is bringing back Yakima's Andrew Murphy and India's Mandeep Jangra to defend their titles at Legends Casino Hotel on June 28th. Murphy fought his heart out in defending his super middleweight belt to get a perfect 8-0 and, and now faces his biggest challenge to date. Mandeep went a solid 10 rounds to retain his junior lightweight title and will try to remain undefeated in what promises to be another bruising battle. Tickets start at just $40 and can be purchased at Ticketmaster.com or the Legends Gift Shop. Don't miss action-packed pro boxing at Legends Casino Hotel. Get your tickets now. At Bruce Heating and Air, your comfort is our business. With over 30 years of professional HVAC experience for residential and commercial properties, you can rest assured your heating and air system is in good hands. In addition to providing quality heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and installation services, Bruce Heating and Air also houses a full-service sheet metal fabrication shop. Now through June 30th, receive rebates up to $1,950 off on a new Dyke and Fit system when you finance through Bruce Heating and Air. Save now at Buy Mart with our latest savings book. Pick up a copy in store today. From spring gardening and patio must-haves to pantry essentials and more. Save now at Buy Mart. Northwest employee owned for 20 years. The White Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DOE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. Get two of my egg and cheese biscuits with a freshly cracked egg any time of the day for just four bucks. Yep, that's two biscuits for just four bucks. Two for four bucks. Two for four. I said it four times, you know, because you can get two biscuits for four bucks. Welcome to Jack in the Box. Welcome back. It feels like it's been kind of a few days of that. If you don't like the weather, just wait 15 minutes. And th and that's, exa <laughs> uh, that's exactly what I was thinking. And I had a feeling, Hayden, that we were going to see the cooler temps come back. You know, I don't hate it, honestly. <laughs> what are we looking at for this evening? <laughs> Well, you know, you're going to get some back and forth with this. So we had comfortable weather today, but warm weather coming up for the next few days. We've got upper 40s to lower 50s for tonight area wide with some occasional high clouds coming in. Then tomorrow we're going to crank up the thermostat back into the mid and upper 80s for many locations. There will be a few outliers. Ellensburg, we've got Dayton uh, in the upper 70s, Pullman in the lower 70s. But then your seven day forecast shows we're going to see warmer weather trending through Thursday with 90 degrees possible for the Tri-Cities. In that ridge of high pressure that gives way to all this nice warm weather, it moves south. And then we go back to normal temperatures for this time of the year in the mid 70s. Clock cover does increase towards the middle of next week. Finally tonight, a Tri-City Dust Devils player was named Northwest League Player of the Week for May 7th through the 12th. Now the recognition comes after he helped Tri-City take on five of six games on the road from the league leading Eugene Emeralds. Ben Goble is the Dust Devils infielder who was honored with Player of the Week. This is his first season playing for the Dust Devils. He says after a great week, he's just planning to keep that momentum going. Just keep doing the same thing. Don't, uh, not going to do anything different. Just have the same routine day in, day out, and play hard, have fun. Now the Dust Devils play at Giza Stadium tonight at 6.30, and they'll be at home through the weekend. All right, in our area, World News Tonight with David Muir is next. We're going to be back tonight at 6. And, of course, for the latest anytime, go to our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. And at 6 o'clock, we're going to be talking more about the lineage fire. Mm -hmm. And then Emily's been working on a story in Yakima as well. She is working on 
plans to expand the Yakima YWCA, which is we've talked earlier this evening about they're having so much demand in Yakima. So this is something that they've been working on for a really long time. We're finally starting to see some really good results from that. All right, well, tune in. Let's take a live look outside as we say goodnight from Richland. We're back at six.